Shalom. He said, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Duwadi Yahweh Shim Yahweh for giving us his truth and understanding. And we give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much love to the elect brethren on the four corners of the planet Earth that's been set up through, through faith to help seal the elect that the Most High brings in. All right. We're, we're ordered to watch and pray. So now there's, this, there's things going on. Uh, the elders have been saying just because you don't see things in the news don't mean that it's not going on. Okay. So just because they put the St. Louis thing in the background and you haven't heard much of it, it's still going on. Okay. There was just clashes yesterday. And I'm sure they're going to go into the weekend, and that might lead into something else. But we'll read this story and uh, just give you a couple updates. And it reads, this is from uh, Russia Today, and it says, uh, St. Louis protesters clash with police ahead of weekend of resistance. So you have a weekend of resistance coming on where they're going to be protesting widely around that area and, and parts of the nation. Okay? And it says, activists, activists against police brutality are calling for uh, support in St. Louis for an upcoming weekend of resistance. Protests in the city re region following the killing Wednesday of an African-American teen by a white police officer. Okay, now the Lord is he's putting judgment. The Lord is judging. He's judging, but then it's dual. Just like you have hot and cold. He's judging these, these wicked niggas out here, but then he's turning around and, and, and stirring up Jake. He's, he's killing two birds with one stone, okay? He's stirring up Jake, and then he's, he's, he's judging uh, Israel because he's starting at his house. Just like you have the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, there's a lot of Israelites in West Africa, okay? There's a lot of still tribes out there that uh, majority Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay? But they're, they're spread out through their heavy, man. Okay, and it says, protest in the city region following the killing Wednesday of an African-American team by a white police officer following the death of Vondrick Meyer Jr. in which a police officer allegedly shot the 18-year-old black teenager 17 times a wave of clashes has erupted uh, clashes have erupted between law enforcement and protesters in the city for two consecutive nights with hundreds of protesters taking to the streets. Uh, I can play this play this video for you. It's only a minute some long. Jake think he here to freaking prosper, man. Your streets. Hell, this is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 1. It says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy power has driven thee. Now the curses and the blessings have come upon us, man. We're getting the full cursings, man. So the Lord then set up set us up here to have streets. These are not our streets, man. Your land is is Yasharala, man. Israel, Jerusalem, man. The land of Israel is where our home is. Not these damn streets of America, man. Jake is crazy. So let's read this, and it says, though these new protests have not been as violent as the nearby Ferguson in August, in which local resident 
18 year old Michael Brown was shot by a white police officer. The St. Louis unrest also resulted in several damaged police vehicles, protesters getting pepper sprayed and even burned with a Amer it says an even burning of American flags by a group of demonstrators. There you go. See that? It says protests chanted no justice, no peace, while police armed with riot equipment threatened threatened to arrest those who refused to disperse from the Tower Grove Park when protesters gathered Thursday evening. Uh, Ferguson, it says Ferguson October national mobilization begins with weekend of resistance. Activists are planning to step up protests over the weekend, preparing four days of protests, marches, and rallies against the police abuse with thousands of participants. One, uh, one march in set to start in St. Louis at 3.30 p.m. Friday and expected to last at least two hours. To kick off our weekend of resistance, we will march on persecuting uh, attorney Bob McCulling, officer to de demand justice for Michael Brown. In order to get that, he needs to step aside. The Ferguson October website said the online resource was created to direct Ferguson October. I mean, if you guys can see, you can look it up. They even got the killing of that uh, IECU member, that damn ignorant nigga. But let's go to this next article. All right. It says, uh, activists done come to Ferguson is, or it says, active activists don't come to Ferguson if if you aren't ready to die that's what they they putting out here man it says three prominent organizers of the protest movement in Ferguson Missouri say they are willing to die in the streets if the police officers who fatally shot 18 year old Michael Brown is not brought to justice so you see that it's brewing a powder keg man it's getting ready to pop Jake is almost the most high stirring Jake up man it says the organizers told a rally in New York Tuesday night that there would be a fierce backlash if a grand jury declined to indict Officer Darren Wilson, which he's not. He's going to get off. It says, and if they can't serve justice in this, in this, the people have every right to go out and express their rage in a manner that is equal to what we have suffered said Ashley Yates, co-founder of the Militant Activist United. You have to take it. You have to own it. All because you know that so that's showing you preparation, that's just luck. That the stuff in St. Louis and is still brewing up. Your printer, just because it's not in the, how you say, the the public eye, it's, the future of your business. it's still being covered and it's, and it's still clear. heating up. Protesters demanding an indictment of the police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black teenager in Ferguson are renewing their call for the removal of the county prosecutor who is presenting the case to a grand jury. Scores of protesters marched Thursday outside the Buzz Westfall Justice Center here, calling for the removal of St. Louis County prosecuting attorney Robert McCulloch. McCulloch is handling the case of the August 9th shooting of Michael Brown, 18, by Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson. These are the criminals that are looting our store that uh, a few nights ago put bricks along the roadway. These are the, the criminals that uh, were shooting at police last night behind bushes and, and buildings. So that's showing you there. It's heating up. And then uh, we'll jump into this next article. This is the touch on the Ebola situation where you have... Uh, the CDC is saying they need to be sealed in hermetically sealed caskets because you had this uh, Duncan guy, a guy in Dallas that was uh, diagnosed with Ebola that passed away. So now his body is going to have to be sealed in hermetically sealed caskets. Okay, and that goes into the um, the FEMA coffins that were seen years ago. Now you can see why, because they're the only coffins that are going to be used to bury the dead body so they're anticipating this it says CG CDC suggested hermetically sealed caskets for Ebola victims aka FEMA coffins 
It says, I remember years back when I, when I was still writing my original website, Neither Corpse USA, we came across, across a then little known video of airtight coffin liners, hundreds and thousands stacked in the field in the middle of Madison, Georgia, in close proximity to Atlanta and the home of the CDC. We helped break that story which immediately uh, swept through independent media circles. Owners of the property leased to store the hermetically sealed plastic coffin stated that it was the CDC that had rented the land for storage of the coffins. Confirmation from the CDC has not been forthcoming. And the videos right here, you guys can, uh, Lord willing, I'll post the link so you guys can come to watch it. It's a very good video and it breaks the caskets down. It says, I have been keeping my eye open for any mention of these kinds of coffins since that story was released, knowing that one day they would suddenly be taunted by the government as if they had always been in use. In apparent, uh, it says, it appears that the day is close at hand. In the story from Yahoo News, the CDC says that the event of the Ebola outbreak in the U.S., bodies of the deceased would be required to be buried within hermetically sealed caskets, which would prevent the escape of microbials during funerals. And administers of the Dallas Institute of Funeral Services interviewed, because there's articles where they were prepping funeral homes for the bodies of Ebola victims. It says, interviewed in the article states that he has never come across any such caskets in his industry, meaning hermetically sealed coffins are not commonly in the slightest, in the slightest for burial. The CDC coffins in Madison, Georgia, though, are designed to prevent spread of infections. In fact, the patent for these coffins, or these coffins confirm that they are meant to be burial or ceremony uh, or cremation of bodies exposed to infectious diseases you can read the patent here okay we'll go to the patent real quick it says multiple function cremation containers and here's the patent we'll read this and it says a multiple function ceremonial container for a cadaver is provided and cadaver is a corpse. Okay, a rectangular container is enclosed in five sides by four containers sides pa uh, panels and the both panels and the six sides of the upper facing open top for the providing access of the internal volume within the container. The side panels. Okay, so you guys can read this. It's a patent for that exact those containers that have been stored in a. Uh, uh, out in Atlanta and uh, hold on real quick well I wanted to uh, I'm gonna just get the definition it says um, Medic. The word hermetically. It says uh, so as to be airtight, hermetically sealed. So it has hermetically means air airtight containers, which these are, and they fall under that the geysers of that. All right, and um. It says this would suggest that the CDC has stockpiled such coffins in places like Madison, Georgia, specifically in preparation for a viral outbreak, meaning the CDC has been expecting the death of hundreds of thousands of America, Americans due to infections for the last past for the last and past six years. That is a long period of preparation, okay? Because they've been ready for this, okay? Because they they're wanting to get these plans on the way. The CDC is the ones that are gonna that release the virus, man. Okay, if you look into it. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Brachet the Yahweh, Brachet the Yahweh Shai. Double honors to elders and great elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much love to you, brothers that are that are watching and praying. Lord willing, we be of that elect. This is just a quick update. So brothers, keep faith. We're almost home.
Shalom.